Hi, and welcome back to the Trigger Newscast. Today is December 27th, 2020, and this morning in Lebanon, Tennessee, a second suspicious vehicle was pulled over by authorities, and a suspect was actually taken into custody. Now, initially, uh, a resident reported this suspect as being suspicious. Or allegedly, he was parked near a convenience store, and a PA-like system from within his vehicle portrayed a message similar to that of which was heard early morning hours on Christmas in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, the report has not been substantiated, and the reports from the news have not indicated whether it was the music that was similar, or if it was an exact countdown indicating that the area should be evacuated. At this point, though, investigators did take the matter extremely seriously and were able to pull over and apprehend the suspect. Now, for over an hour with the suspect in custody, the federal authorities have not made clear whether there's any temporal or physical or association between the two incidents, if there's a connection between the individuals, the place, or materials. But what is interesting about the RV is it is missing both a front and rear license plate. And after they took the suspect into custody, investigators took the matter so seriously they brought in a bomb squad robot to probe the vehicle for over an hour. Uh, it was able to be viewed live from Channel News Live 2 in Nashville and Live 5 from Nashville. Uh, both were able to cover the scene in its entirety, where after, with an hour approximately, of robotic probing from the Tennessee Specials Units of Investigation, their Highway Patrol Unit, uh, utilized a robot and two bomb squad technicians finally approached and entered the rear of the vehicle. Uh, it seems that after a matter of moments, uh, they were able to obtain passage all the way through the vehicle and determine that there was no tripwire or obvious uh, incendiary or explosive devices. They brought in a bomb squad dog uh, or a sniffing technician dog, it appears, who then verified their suspicions that it was not a bomb or had any explosives within it. However, the authorities still took the incident so seriously that the suspect at this time is still in custody and the vehicle was towed from the premises. So until we get a further uh, information from investigators exactly as to the motive behind this incident, whether the individual was trying to you know, claim a practical joke or if it's a case of false or close associative identity, it seems that at this point uh, we're unsure the suspect apparently did pull over, did freely give themselves up without incident. Uh, it doesn't appear or hasn't been reported that there were any weapons or incendiaries or explosives found on the scene yet. So let me know down in the comments what you think. I'll keep you updated as I find out more. Again, I'm Will. This is the Triggered Newscast. If you liked this report, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to come back and see more, then consider subscribing to the channel and punching that bell. And we'll see you again at the next Triggered Newscast.